These days, it's hard to imagine a politician praising an opponent. But John McCain did it when the stakes were at their highest. Here's Lee Cowan. It was an October surprise, unlike most. I'm concerned about, um, you know, someone that, you know, cohorts with uh, domestic terrorists such as... Three weeks before voters would decide the next president of the United States, John McCain, trailing in the polls, told a crowd of supporters Barack Obama was a good man. I have to tell you, he is a decent person and a person that you do not have to be scared as president of the United States. Now, I, I just... Getting booed at your own town hall can't be easy. But John McCain plowed ahead, extolling the differences between debating an opponent and demeaning one. He's an Arab. He is not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no, ma no, ma no, ma no, ma he's, a, he's, a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues. And that's what this campaign is all about. The morning after, the man who would beat him thanked him. I, I appreciated his reminder that we can disagree while still being respectful of each other. Those few moments before that Minnesota crowd seemed to define what being a maverick really meant to John McCain. He saw the aisle dividing his party from the other as just that, an aisle, not a chasm where common decency is swallowed whole. Because that's the way politics should be conducted in America. He turned those boos into cheers, and for a moment anyway, the idea of bipartisanship, of statesmanship, even of friendship in Washington seemed oddly possible. Lee Cowan, CBS News, Los Angeles. McCain had ideals, as he said in his farewell statement today. We cannot confuse patriotism with tribal rivalries. That is the CBS Evening News. For Jeff Glor, I'm Nora O'Donnell, and I'll see you tomorrow on CBS This Morning. That's just about 12 hours from now. Good night. See you tomorrow.